surgery is scary enough, but when you hear what happened to these people, it may seem downright terrifying. They suffer with everything from agonizing spinal problems to severely damaged vocal cords, and they say their problems were the result of botched surgery performed by the same surgeon, a doctor many of them claim is a butcher and a drug addict. Lisa Guerrero tracked the surgeon down to try to get some answers. They showed up struggling to walk, some limping, some using canes, and others unable to walk at all. These nine people are speaking out to Inside Edition about the man they say ruined their lives. He's a monster. Drug addict. A psychopath. Killer. And they're not talking about a hardened criminal. They're talking about a neurosurgeon. Our next best doctor, it's neurosurgeon Dr. Christopher Dunch. In commercials, Dr. Christopher Dunch calls himself the best neurosurgeon in all of Dallas. He specializes in relieving back and neck pain. Then they come back to me to discuss surgical options. But these folks couldn't disagree more. They say he's a butcher and a drug addict who maimed them during surgery. Oh, it feels like <clears throat> somebody has an ice pick planted squarely in, in my back. Lee Passmore says he never had crippling nerve spasms until Dr. Dunch needlessly removed part of his spine during a procedure to relieve back pain. I shouldn't be this way. I'm sorry. According to Passmore's attorney, Dr. Junch had a serious drug problem since he was a resident. There is one report that he spent an entire night doing cocaine at a party, and then when the sun came up, put on his scrubs and went off to the hospital to treat children. Another patient, Jeff Cheney, says Dr. Dunch removed a portion of his spinal cord by mistake. When he woke up, he found the right side of his body was paralyzed. I was horrified. I was speechless. Today, Jeff Cheney suffers from a terrible limp, but at least he can walk. Ken Fennell and Mary Efford both say they're forced to use wheelchairs now due to Dr. Dunch's incompetence. He took away my life as it was, my freedom. Now consider this patient, Jacqueline Troy, woke up from surgery finding herself unable to talk. I'm down to one vocal cord. She says she only has a whisper of a voice after Dr. Dunch paralyzed her vocal cords. They didn't know if I would survive. And Jeff Glidewell says his voice was almost lost forever after Dr. Dunch mistook his esophagus for a tumor and sliced into it. He stuck a sponge in the hole of my esophagus and sewed me up. And that sponge? Dr. Dunch left it inside his throat. <laughs> We're doing the revision surgery. Neurosurgeon Dr. Robert Henderson was brought in to repair, as best he could, the damage to some of these patients. This is almost literally a serial killer. A serial killer? Do you think that's a fair and accurate description? Oh, absolutely. That's how egregious this, the surgery was. It's beyond medical negligence. Attorney Kay Van Way represents more than a dozen of Dr. Dunch's patients. Have you ever been under the influence of cocaine while you were taking care of a patient? I take the fifth. When she grilled him during this deposition two weeks ago, Dr. Dunch made for a reluctant witness. I take the fifth. I take the fifth. I take the fifth. Two dead patients, 16 seriously injured patients. It's unacceptable. In court papers, Van Way calls Dunch an egomaniac, mentally ill, an alcoholic, and a drug addict. Do you have a drug and alcohol problem, sir? No, ma'am. Never have. I caught up with Dr. Dunch outside Denver, where he now lives. Well, can you explain then what happened during those surgeries, please, sir? Uh, it's, I would rather talk, discuss those at a formal venue with the board or in a, in, a, in a medical malpractice setting. I talked to a doctor who said that you were like a serial killer. Do you have a response? Yes, I'll, I'll deal with that in the, in the context of liable later when I've defended myself. The Texas Medical Board has revoked his license, but his patients all say there's a more fitting punishment. He belongs in jail. Dr. Dunch apparently has other plans. Are you planning to try to practice medicine again? Yes. Dr. Dunch denies any wrongdoing and says he'll fight the allegations of malpractice and he could reapply to reinstate his medical license in December.